Alright, on the Pokemon Fan 993 here, back with more Pokemon trading card game pack openings. Now, my friend gave me a bunch of these, paid for them. These are uh, 13 three card packs, which means there's three cards in each single one. I've got another 13 here that will be done at a later video. And he also gave me a bunch of these uh, random packs. Hang on. That, once again, I paid for. Hang on. And those will be done in the video. These are actually 10 card packs. A lot of these packs seem to be cards that I'm not fully familiar with having in my collection, so there should be some new ones. But today we're going to do the uh, we're going to do the fifth thirteen of these because there's three in each pack. Thirteen times uh, three is thirty nine cards, so it's going to take me a while to open every single pack. But I figured do it all in one these in one shot should fill up the video. So let's start with this one. This one is the Sun and Moon Celestial Storm with the um, <clears throat> with Rayquaza on it. In a pack, there's three cards, and then there's no T TCG code, so don't have to mention that. See how lucky we can get with this stuff. It's one of those things that doesn't matter. Okay, so we got... Move this back just a little bit. We have Basic Bagon HP, 60 Dragon, Rocket, 10. During your opponent's next turn, the defend, the, this Pokemon takes 10 less damage for attack after applying weakness and resistance. We have the basic Wismer, HP 70, Carless, Whale, 40. Your opponent switches their active Pokemon with one of their one of their bench Pokemon. And then we got the Psychic Energy card. Put those back as packed. I'm going to spend a lot of this video just opening these things. I probably should have pre-opened them instead of wasting everyone's time, but wasn't thinking too, too heavily on that one. Next, we have the Sun and Moon Gardens Rising with uh, Dusk Electronic on it. Keep in mind, these are dollar packs, which means that because there's only three cards in them, the, th the chance that I get something that's really, really good is probably minimal. But, you know, I've gotten Zach Rum and Pikachu tag team out of one of these free packs before, so a couple other ones as well. So we'll, we're going to give it our best shot here. Come on. This thing doesn't matter. They always put in every single pack. That isn't even good as a TCG code. We have Basic Nose Pass, HP 80, Fighting, Ram 20, Rising Lunge 30 plus. Flip a coin if has this attack does 30 more damage for a total of 60. Potential total of 60. We have the Reverse Hollow Basic Kamala, HP 80, Carless, Ability Comatose. As long as Pokemon is your active Pokemon, whenever you, you attach any from this from your hand, an energy from your hand to it, this Pokemon is now asleep. Hit no roll, 100. This attack does, can be used if this Pokemon is asleep. And it is, if it is not asleep, this attack does nothing, but it does 100 if it is asleep. And last, we have Stage 2 Lampet. So we got a uh, Reverse Hollow out of That's not too bad. I'm going to go with Kamala before we put it away, since that's the most interesting one out of it. I've always been interested in like, making a deck like that, like a deck that revolves around sleeping Pokemon, but there aren't really a lot of cards that really go around that, so it's going to be kind of hard to do that. Next we have another uh, Sun and Moon Guardians right within that. Is, I believe his name is pronounced as Kimono. Something to that effect. I really, like I said after I've mentioned before, after I've watched like Generation 5 or 6, I kind of stopped watching Pokemon, so I don't know the actual names because they don't have any voice acting in a lot of the Pokemon games. Guys, would you shut up? I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's my phone going off. If you like to, like I said, they like to message people around when I'm recording, and that's the only time they like to do it. There's a useless thing again. Might as well just start throwing those away at some point. I think I have a little space I have on this desk. We have the basic Slowpoke, HP 70, Psychic, Headbutt 10, Whimsy Tackle 60, Flip a Coin if Tails Attack does nothing. So the aim version is 0 to 60 on that attack. We have the basic Alolan Sandshrew, HP 60, uh, water. See the little somewhere next to Defense Crow? I'm going to point at it real quick. I hate, I hate dealing with reverse on this. That means that the, the attack can be used without any energy cost. Defense Crow, flip a coin. If has prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks during your opponent's next turn. Ice Ball, 30. And then we have Stage 2 Clefable, HP 100. Fairy, a bit, Lullaby, 20. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. Meteor Mash, Sissy. 
During your next turn, the, this Pokemon's Meteor Mash attack does 60 more damage before applying weakness or resistance. So it goes anywhere from 60 to 120 damage within a turn. You know, I think I'm just going to do it this way. Hang on. We're just going to do all... We're just going to open them all, and then we're just going to open up... Take them out in order. Because this opening every three and a half seconds is taking a bit long. Just open all of these. I'm not going to look at them. I'm just going to open them. To the point where I can actually get the cards out. How's everyone's weekend, by the way? I I had to um, I was actually gone away from my computer, and that's where I do a lot of my recording from. So that's why there wasn't any videos uh, yesterday. And there's gonna only be this video today because I screwed something up with. I figured out that if I use my email, I can actually send myself uh, showdown videos that I do on my phone. But I screwed something up because I was supposed to do a Gen Seven only uh, or Gen Eight only um, team, and for some reason I thought. It's so hard to pronounce that Pokemon's name. Pinicu, I believe it's a water type. It has the ability in, uh, in our outward or something like that, and it does damage. Anyway, I thought that Pokemon was a Generation 8 Pokemon, and I did like six battles, and I realized that Pinicu is not a Gen 8 Pokemon. So I was like, well, that's not going to work, so I kind of just left that where it was. So I'm going to be I'm going to be uploading two showdown videos tomorrow, hopefully, as long as nothing gets in my way. And potentially one more video of me doing uh, Pokemon Snakewood, depending on how much time I've got on my hands. Because we all know time is a frivolous thing. There's no telling what could actually happen within a short amount of time. Should be able to get these open at some point here. I think next time I'm going to pre-open these so we don't have to watch this. We struggle to open every single pack. I don't think it's going to happen, though, if there's like a way a lot of packs like there is now. So what's the rarest card you guys ever gotten from a uh, just any pack or anything? And um, Promos don't count, but you guys ever think? I think the rarest card I've ever pulled out of a pack was that... Um, uh, Either one of my rainbow cards I got a long time ago, a while ago, or one of the um, or the, one of the Japanese Pokemon cards that I got that I never really uh, put on my channel because I couldn't read the cards. And that one was the um, GX Dialga, the Japanese version of it. From, I believe it was from, I think it was from Sun and Moon. Ultra Sun and Moon, maybe. Hard to say. Like I said, I can't read the packs. Okay, so we got all those open now. Now I can just kind of open them in order. So this one is... Um, Sun Moon Forbidden Light with completed Zygrade on it. We have basic Cubone, HP 60, Fighting, Boomerang, Burnersome Bow for you. This one can attack during your next turn. We have Stage 2 Toxicroak, HP 100, Fighting, Poison Jab 30. Your opponent's death one is now poisoned. It's after event 50 plus. If you have any psychic Pokemon that, that were knocked out by damage during your opponent's next attack, during their during their next, la, last turn, the attack does 70 more damage for a total of 120. Does that say psychic? It does say psychic. Okay. Then we have the basic fire energy. Sorry, doing this with the mic here is kind of hard to do because I'm not used to it. Just put those back in this pack. Push them over here. Next, we have the Sun Moon for Ben Light, with I believe that is a Gondo on it. I'm not really sure how to pronounce the name of it. It's the Poison Dragon type that um, I believe Ash got in that generation. I'm not really sure. I think he got the. Uh, I think it's supposed to be an Ultra Beast or a, some kind of Ultra Beast. Put it down there. We have Basic Fennekin. Fennekin. We have Basic Pancham, HP 70, Fighting, Act Tough, 10 plus. If this attack. Is this Pokemon has any dark energy attached to it? The 60, 30 more damage for a total of 40. And we have the second energy card from that pack. 
Nothing too crazy yet, but like I said, I'm not expecting much from these. Next, we have the Sun and Moon Forbidden Light with Greninja on it. As you can hear my phone go off, I try to tell people that I'm doing stuff, but you know how people don't like to listen. We have basic NK HP 60 Psychic Hypnosis. Your opponent's HP 1 is now asleep. Stage 2 Pangoro HP 130 Dark. Untamed Punch 50 plus. If one has any damage cards on it, this death is 50 more damage. And both HP 1 are now confused, so it does a potential to 50, 100, and it confuses both Pokemon. Double Stomp, 80 plus. Flip two coins, that does 40 damage for each head, so anywhere from 80 to uh, 160 damage. Then we have the Trainer Supporter Crasher Wake. Uh, this card, two water energy cards from your hand. If you do, search your deck for the two cards and put them into your hand and then shuffle your deck. We have the basic Aeron, basic Staryu, and another Fighting Energy card from that pack. Nothing too crazy, but could always change. I have some of these pets kind of weird. Try to get them hard to get them back in there sometimes. Next, we have the Sun and Moon uh, Crimson Invasion with Buzzwool on it, which is one of the Ultra Beasts. We have the basic Jigglypuff HP 60 Fairy. Roll out 10, double slap 20 times. Flip two coins, that does 20 damage for each head, so they can do anywhere from 0 to 40 damage. Ooh, we got a reverse Hollow State True Miss Magius HP 110 Psychic Chaos Wheel 30. Your opponent can't play any, play any Pokemon tool, special energy, or stadium cards from your hand during your next turn. Dark Arts 20 times, that does 20 damage for each card in your opponent's hand. Okay. They could do any they could do a potential lot of damage. Then we have the basic dark energy. So I got a couple reverse hollows so far. I probably if you can hear my phone go off, but there's not much I can really do about that unless I go there and I basically mess with my entire settings. And I'm not gonna do that considering I've almost gone through a lot all these packs. Next we have these next we have the XY Steam Speech, which I believe that is Break Wyvatal on it. Break cards are interesting because they're differently shaped and everything, and I've only gotten a few of them through my career of opening these cards, so. We got Basic Mantine, HP 100, Water. Healing Wave. Discard all as many cards your hand needs away from your hand. Heal 10 damage from each, year, each, from this Pokemon for each card discard in this way. Doing Healing Wave, 90 minus. That does 90 damage, 90 damage minus 10 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So could do, that could go anywhere from um, 90 all the way to 0. We have the basic Clink, HP 50, Steel. Disorderly Flip, 10 times. Flip the coins that does 10 damage times the number of heads. That means it can go anywhere from 1 to t 0 to 40. Then we have the Trainer Supporter Pokemon Ranger. Move all effects from attacks on each player and his, and his or her Pokemon. Almost dropped it. Put that back in this pack. Wait, am I going backwards here? No, I'm not. Sorry, I thought I was doing something else. We had the Sun and Moon Celestial Storm with Stakataka on it, which is actually kind of a stupid name, but I got think it's some kind of Mayans thing or something. I'm not really sure. So we meant to open that one. We have the basic Torchic. Basic Wismore. This is a different one. HP 60, Carless Ball. You can use this attack only if you go second and only on your first turn. Your opponent cannot play any trainer cards from their hand during your next turn. Pound, 20. Then we have the basic Psychic Energy. Almost done, folks. Three packs left. Or left. Next, we have the XY Breakthrough with Mega Mewtwo X on it. So 
they're one of these cards I keep putting just under here. They're just basically cards that tell you how to collect and some tell you like, oh, you can go here and get cards, go here and get cards, go here and get cards. Some of you even feature the TCG online on it and I already know all that stuff. So we have basic Starly, HP 50, Carlos, call for pals. It's your deck for up as many Starly as you like and put them on your bench, shuffle your deck afterward. Basic Goldie, HP 60, Water, Reckless Charge 20. This Pokemon also does 10 damage to itself. Then we have Basic Stun Fisk, HP 110, Electric, Revenge 20 plus. If any of your Pokemon were knocked out by damage during an opponent's. from an opponent attack during his or her last turn, that does 80 damage for a total of 100. Thunder Blast 8, discard an energy attack to this Pokemon. Stun Fisk is kind of a rare one. I guess I could consider that decently rare. Two packs left. I guess we could end this somewhat with a bang, but I don't think it's going to happen. Probably just not my luck. Come on. Next, we have the XY Steam Siege with Xerneas on it. Break Xerneas. We have basic Driftwood, HP 60, uh, Psychic, Transfer Pain, move one damage counter from one of your opponent's Pokemon to one of, one of your Pokemon to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Ooh, there's a nice card. I thought we might end it somewhere with that. I think I had this card already. I could be wrong. Oh, wow, I cannot read that very well. Hang on, let me try. Volcanion well, EX, HP 180, Fire Water. Ability Steam Up. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may discard a Fire Energy from your hand. If you do... During this turn, your basic the basic fire your basic fire Pokemon's attacks do thirty more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon before applying weakness and resistance. Volcanic Heat one thirty. This Pokemon can attack during your next turn. That's a nice card right there. Um, I'll put that to the side just for the moment. Put these two back in their pack. Oh right, I forgot about the other one. Got them trolled. Uh, stage two skip bloom. Sorry, I got kind of involved with that one. And again, that might, the considering these are dollar packs, it means that the whole these thirteen packs were thirteen dollars, obviously. So if that card is at least at least worth ten, I think I made I think uh, I made the money back. But I don't know how much it actually is, so let's put this back. And we got one more pack left. This pack is the X Y Steam Siege, ironically with with Volcanion on it. It'd be funny if I pull, actually pulled another one from this pack. I don't think it's going to happen. Probably open that all the way. Now it is. We have basic Chimchar, HP 60, Fire. Scratch 10, Ember 30. Flip a coin, Tails, discard a Fire Energy attached to this Pokemon. Basic Yanma, HP 70, Grass. Scout, your opponent reveals his or her hand. Speed die, 40. Then we end with Stage 2, Rabbit Ash, HP 90, Fire. Rear Kick, 30, Fire Blast, 70. Discard a Fire Energy attached to this Pokemon. Okay. So there's nothing. Best cards I got were a couple reverse hollows and that volcano. So we're gonna do one more thing before I close out for this video. We're actually gonna go see if we can find a price match on that volcano. Oh come on, didn't attack right. So let's have a quick look at this. See if we can find it. Okay, so that was from that was from X Y Steam Siege. It looks like a good card, so let's see how much it actually is. X, Y, Steam, dang it, Steam, Siege. Ball, dang it, Volcanion, EX, Shopping. Okay, so we're looking at this real quick. Let's see. There's that version, that version, that version. Hmm. Okay, so I'm guessing by looking at some of these things is that it's about worth six to ten dollars. Uh, maybe one to ten dollars, and then apparently if you grade it, it's worth a bit, quite a bit more. But yeah, I can see. 10 15 dollars so maybe i did make my money back on the on just these 13 packs by themselves so we're going to take one of my things over here get rid of google here 
I'm going to put one of these in this thing, and I'm running on a slave, actually. As far as that is to believe. I don't pull a lot of really good cards anymore, but that's a still a really nice card. Okay. Have more look at that before I actually end the video. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video. Thank everyone for watching. Sorry about the uh, slow pack opening, but you know that happens with the, with the three-card packs. But this is the Pokemon Fan 1993 signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.